Christ 17 TV, baby. Back at you with another one. Today's going to be a little bit of sports talk here because there's been a lot of shit going on. First of all, prayers go out to LeBron James' son. I hope the young man recovers quick. But don't run him back out there so quick. Find out what's really going on because cardiac arrest is no joke. That's where you die at. Thank God there was folks there from the USC training staff to be on the scene to give him CPR and all that. And I hope he comes back and makes a speedy recovery and is a big splash for USC this year. Um, we had the same thing happen with the guy from the Bills last year, but this was a hit. He got hit in the chest. That's the only thing that's not the same. This kid just collapsed. And to be that young, that's 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 uh, rare, you know? For somebody who's in great shape like him, because I know that his father keeps his himself in great shape, so I know he keeps his boys in great shape. And it's just a shame to see a father have to go through that as, you know, I'm a dad and I have a son, you know, so that's, that's, that's really hard. And I hope that the James family is doing good. And I wish the young man a speedy recovery and can't wait to see him play. With that being said, Joe Burrow from the Bengals carted off the field yesterday. So they're saying some weeks will... Will he be back for week one? They're not sure. Is it a long-term thing? More than more than the first month of the season? I really don't think so. Will the Bengals hurt without him? Absolutely. I don't even know who their backup is. But I do know this. The Bengals are going to be fighting for that Super Bowl ring this year. Like they did last year and the year before. The Bengals, to me, are my favorites coming out. coming out of the AFC. NFC, I don't know. Philly's got a defense. 49ers got a defense, but Bosa ain't signed yet because he wants that new contract. You better break bread with the boy Bosa. You better break bread, Lynch. You better give him what he want or that boy might sit out. And if you lose Bosa, then that's a big part of your defense. But, you know, 49ers fans will... Say something else. Say, oh, we got plenty of defensive parts, but Bosa's your main guy. I don't want to hear it. But with the Bengals thing and the Chiefs, I think they're going to be fighting again to go to the bowl. Aaron Rodgers, the Jets, wild card, if that. We got to see how this team is going to, you know, come together. Because Aaron Rodgers, from what I heard, and I'm a Green Bay fan, he's hard to play with. He's a diva. He do what he wants. So we'll see if he's taking this shit real serious. Is this a new challenge? He wants to prove everybody wrong. Let's see, Aaron. But my Packers, I would love to see what love is going to do. You heard it. I would love to see what love is going to do. I can't wait. I can't wait because they got us in last place, predicted to be in last place. I'm going to tell you this here. We got a hell of a running game. We got a hell of a coach. And our defense is no punk neither. I think we're going to be just fine. As long as that offensive line can protect Love. Love is more mobile than Rodgers. I'm not trying to compare him to no Hall of Famer. But I think we're going to be good. Green Bay's had two quarterbacks since I was a little kid. Since I was like, I want to say maybe like 12, these guys have had like the same QBs since I was maybe 12 or 14. I just turned 45 years old. And I remember two quarterbacks, Brett Favre, went forever. Aaron Rodgers went forever. Hopefully love is going to be lovely. That's what I'm hoping I'm praying for, and I can get him for another 15 years, 20 years, whatever, playing at high-level MVP shit. That's what I'm hoping. We got the system for it. He sat behind Rodgers. He's learned, and I hope hope he took notes. I hope he really did take some notes. Get some water here. Got to rehydrate, man, today. 
was drinking beers last night. Everybody, drink your water during the summer. Stay hydrated. It's very important. But like I was saying for my Packers, I feel very good. Our conference, the Vikings lost Cook, Thielen. Their defense is not that good. The Bears, they got Fields, but they're a young team. The Lions, is it going to be a fluke or are the Lions really good? Are they going to be able to put up 30 points a game with golf and that offense? With same, we, we, we're going to see. But I'm very confident we can come out of that division. I'm very confident. Trust me. Trust me. <clears throat> Week one, I will be in Chicago watching the Packers play the Bears. In week one, I will be there at that game. So I will be the first one to be on my channel telling you what I thought of love and my team and if we got any chance to make noise. I know it's only one game, but to me, this is the biggest game of love's life because he's going to get so much criticism after this first game. This one game, do you know how much they're going to talk about Oh, they miss Aaron Rodgers, or we keep the motherfucking ship sailing and we don't miss nobody. If we go out there and score 30 points and that boy throws two or three scores, throws for 250 yards with no picks, maybe runs for 30 yards or 40 yards, watch out, people. Watch out, because the Packers will be coming. Like I said, will be coming and we coming strong. Pause. But Joe Burrow, I hope he heals up fast because that's my guy. And I got the Bengals is my pick to win the whole thing for this year. The whole thing. So that is being said, and I can't wait. Preseason Hall of Fame game, I think, is maybe in two more weeks. I'm not sure. Two more weeks, I think. I'm not sure. Or is it next weekend? I'm not sure, but it's coming up soon. And once preseason starts, that's when my motor gets going. And I'm ready because next comes fantasy football. Now we're getting ready for week one. And I'm getting ready for my trip to Chicago. And I'm going to Lambeau Field. I'm, we're taking a, a drive to Lambeau Field my first day. Next day... Going to see the Cubbies play. Sitting in the bleachers, the famous bleachers in Wrigley Field, where the building's behind it and all that, I'll be sitting there. Scratch that off the bucket list. Wrigley Field. Now I just need to hit Fenway for a Yankees Red Sox game, and I had the two old ballparks scratched off. But Wrigley's coming soon. Can't wait. I'm excited. I'm going with my boy Chi Town, and boy, we're going to have a blast. Then, the following day, the following day, week one, baby, Soldier Field, here we come, Green Bay, but that Friday, we're going to drive to Lambeau Field just so me and him could see the historic field, and I plan next year to make it there. I don't know when, but I kind of want to go when it's cold. I don't give a fuck. I want to go when it's Lambeau, the frozen tundra Lambeau field. That's where I want to go. That's where I want to be there. And I can't wait because that's going to be something spectacular. Historic place. How many games have been played there that have been... There was a time that Green Bay didn't lose at home in the playoffs. But, you know, that's changed over the years. But I'll tell you this, I wouldn't mind sitting in one of them cold-ass games just to say I did it. Put that shit on my channel. So, with that being said, baby, get ready for football season because football is on the way. I got a lot of friends that are diehard 49er fans and a lot of friends that are diehard New York Giants fans. And both teams, I think, are going to do very, very, very well this year. Actually, I might try to go to the um, New York Giants 49ers game, which is on a Thursday night that comes out here. I want to say week four. I think it's week four. If it's not, then it's week five. But I'm almost sure it's a Thursday night game. That I do know. And I will be coming back 
from Chicago, and I'll be ready to go to another game. So that being said, I'm going to be on the road going to games. You will catch me at a few more games during the year, and I'm going to have everything on my channel. So to all my subscribers, stay tuned. I'm going to be coming to you from a stadium near you. With that being said, hit the like, hit the subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Play at Christ 17 TV, and we're going to do it all year. We're going to game the game the game the game, and I'll be there, and I'm going to put it on my channel so y'all can see. We're going to do the Wrigley Field walkthrough, the Lambo outside walkthrough, Soldier Field walkthrough, and we're going to have nice time getting some Italian beef with a Pepsi. In shot in Shy Town. I don't know if I'm gonna try to deep dish, but I just might try it. Just might try, it. but I heard it's not all that. But I might just still try it, cause I'll be there, and that's one of their signature dishes in Chicago. So I might at least have to try it one time to see if it's a eat your heart out pimping or is it you broke my heart, Fredo. I don't know about the deep dish, cause you know, ain't no pizza like New New York, baby. So let's go. Let's get it. And I'll see you soon. Catch you on the flip side, player.